Welcome to United by Trucks. Today we're showing you our steam vent solution on our LS Swap Square Body UBTK5. Alright guys, so this is our 2011 5.3 with a 6L80E that we pulled out of a half ton Silverado. Um, really quickly, I just want to show you our steam vent setup. So this is it all installed, and I'll have the part numbers linked down in the description. And I'm gonna flash forward, or excuse me, I'm gonna flash back to when we were installing this on the K5, and you can see it a little bit more uninstalled. But this is a Mishimoto coupler that has, I believe that's a Russell barb fitting. And basically this is the steam vent line here. So, so this is the Mishimoto coupler with a Russell barb fitting that screws right into the, to the coupler. And that's the steam vent hose that runs right back to the head right there. So if you can see that, it's running right back to the head. So it's a really short hose that runs right under the air intake. You install the Mishimoto coupler in the upper radiator hose. You can see this is our upper radiator hose. You install that Mishimoto coupler get by the Russell barb fitting, get the hose, and basically just attach it right back there to the steam vent port on the head. So that's our simple solution, especially when you're bypassing, when you're doing the heater bypass like we've done because we don't have, we're gonna install some sort of aftermarket AC setup. That's our way to get around, not putting a T in the heater bypass and just installing it right up here in the upper radiator hose. Teddy's done the same way, and we're gonna do it on plenty more. So while we're working on these uh, trans cooler lines, Chaz has been over here getting our little steam vent solution sorted out. So this is what we did on Teddy because we've got the heater bypass so we can't run a T out of it. We're actually gonna put this Mishimoto little temperature sensor fitting or coupler, whatever you wanna call it, in the line. It's got a little fitting right there off the bottom that will connect right in with the steam vent port at the top of the head right there. We'll Chaz will show us exactly what that looks like or about what that looks like. You'll essentially have a line come right out of that and go right, or a hose come right out of that and go right into the steam vent port. So it'll be real, real short, real hidden, and exactly what we need. All right, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that. It's a pretty simple solution, but we get that question all the time. So I really hope that that makes a little bit more sense. When you're going to LS swap your truck, regardless of whether it's a square body or a C772 or something else, this solution will work pretty well universally. So hope you guys enjoy this little tip. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Definitely smash that thumbs up if you like what you've seen today and leave a comment. Let us know if you'll run this steam vent solution on your project. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time on United by Trucks. Cue the music.